Hello guys, this is Chibuzo Agowa and once again you're welcome to Blog Info Tech YouTube channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to delete unused media files from your WordPress media library. Actually, um, if you follow the steps and guide I will talk about in this video, it will save you the stress of maybe regretting that you wish you had backed up your WordPress site before carrying out the steps. You know, and I'll be showing you what, what most mistakes people actually make which you prevent once you follow the step and step guide that I'll be showing you in this video. So before we proceed, what are unused media files? Unused media files are actually files, be it images or videos that you uploaded on your WordPress um, media library and maybe you tend to not to use them. And actually this normally arises once um, we delete our old posts. You discover that the images that are attached to the post beats, images or videos that are attached to the post don't actually delete from your media library once you actually trash them. So these steps and guide and um, will show you how to actually do that and you actually save your um, your WordPress um, server some space yes because the images on your unused images actually occupy spaces and the worst of it all is unused videos so those what these are what i'll be showing you in this video so once you've understood what unused media library is then we can kick start so if you're visiting this channel for the first time maybe you stumble upon it through the youtube search and what we actually do here is that teach um tutorial videos that are technology related which i believe you would like to be part of so if you want to be part of the channel you can kindly um Please hit the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification so that I get notified whenever I release another tutorial videos just like this. So once you've done that, let's go straight down to business. So as you can see, this is my um, media library of one of my WordPress sites. And you can discover that there are lots of images right here. And I know I've deleted posts um, previously and I want to like free up some space yes on use image on use images um are actually many in this um library uh, library of mine so i want to delete some out of it for example i actually noticed that i delete posts that are and these images are tied to and as you can see from if you look down here you see that this image is not attached to any blog post so that's the reason why i have to delete it so the first thing you have to note is that look just like i said unused images or unused media files actually images of videos that are not attached to your WordPress post or pages. And remember, this includes your favicon and also your WordPress logo. So the mistake that most people um, actually do is that once they install a media cleaner plugin, they actually hit delete to delete um, all unused images without them knowing that the, uh, the plugin will actually detect um, your blog logo and your favicon. And most of the time, some images that are attributed to your WordPress team, the plugin tends to detect it and also once you hit the delete button you discover that um your some images that are attributed to your wordpress theme is actually off and that's when you start having the reader so if you follow the step i've been telling or teaching in this video it will save you the stress of um backing up your wordpress site before proceeding to the delete and like you all know um we shall be using the plugin because we don't want to go um, one by one searching for images that are unattached to a post or a page so we shall be installing a plugin and the plugin we shall be using in this video um is the media cleaner so we have to go to your um plugin section add new plugin then come here and search for media cleaner search for media cleaner that's the plugin we shall be using in this video one of the most popular WordPress plugin we found out there actually minimize the video. So this is the one plugin I'm talking about, the media cleaner, clean and optimize space. So all you have to do is to install the media cleaner. Remember, just follow each and every steps I'm taking in this video. The first step is for us to install the plugin. And once it's added, it has installed, now we now click on activate. So the first step is installing, actually installing the media plugin, the media cleaner plugin that's the first one that has the cat um, image in it so the plugin is fully installed so now the next thing we have to do there are some settings we have to you have to tweak or choose based on your um what you actually need so now once you've done that you notice that there is a um if you look at your menu so new apps so you go to new apps this is actually the plugin we just installed and you go to media cleaner navigate to a media cleaner so once you're here um 
this um this is um some of the rules you're actually giving to it for it to so the scan process so scan contents yes you're actually scanning our content and also um like i told you i'm actually detecting images remember on news media files are either images or videos but in this case i want to like because i know i've never uploaded any image on this um, side of mine so i'll just stick image only i'm actually filtering image only just like i said take it and the rules it's activating so that's that so i've actually clicked images only that's i'm actually um I wanted to actually scan images only because I don't upload any video. So once you've done that, remember, we'll first of all, go to media and uh, new apps, then media cleaner. I actually want to set this rule, which I just did. Now, the next thing you have to do is you have to still go back to your media library. You click on once you hover over media, you now see cleaner. So you click on cleaner. Now, this is what you get. It has actually opened. So now once you're here, you remember you've set those rules. I wanted to actually um, scan images only. But if you want to scan both images and videos, don't tick that portion I did there. So now all you have to do now is to click on scan. So the scanning process has begun. It will take some few minutes actually because it has to scan through all your posts, your pages, and um, depending on the rules you set. Is actually scanning. It's on step two or four. It wouldn't take um. It would take actually take less than a minute. So let's see. It's actually scanning. So for all WordPress um, owners, just like myself, and you want to like um free up some space in your WordPress server, you can actually do this. Delete some unused images that you feel like you don't know, you no longer need them in your WordPress site. It's actually okay. Speeds up your server. And if you find this video interesting enough, you can also um, hit the like button because these are some of the videos that we do dish out on this YouTube channel. If you even go to our playlist, you can find similar videos just like this that teaches tutorials on your day to day technology needs. Yes. Can you go that and still yet if you see it yet to hit the subscribe button can you hit the subscribe button and also remember to turn on the bell notification for my next tutorial videos we are in step two we are following this scanning process it wouldn't take much time but it all depends on the amount of image on use image on your wordpress dashboard if there are quite few the scanning process wouldn't take much time It's actually extracting from content. That is a step two over four, which is ease at the moment. So there are still more, so many um, WordPress related tutorial videos on this channel. Like I said, you can easily go to our playlist and check them and you'll learn one or two things that you actually need. The media library of mine is actually stocked up with lots of images and I know I've deleted some posts which the unused images are still there so i want to free up the space that's the reason why i said let me teach you how to do it the right way remember i didn't actually back up this wordpress site of mine because most media cleaners or any optimizer plugin of wordpress actually indicates or give the warning or caution that you should back up your wordpress site before proceeding any steps just like this but if you follow what i have taught you or the steps i'm actually showing in, in this video there is no need for you to back up your WordPress site because you might not actually have any backup. Um, you are asking, you might not be subscribed to any backup um, app. So, this is actually a free method I'm teaching you. So, the scanning process is complete. And remember, I told you from the title of this video, we're actually doing it the right way. So, now, like I said, um, if as you can see, um, these three images below, they are actually um, images that my blog logo images. So the mistake most people do, um, most users of WordPress actually do after installing the Media Cleaner plugin, is that they went or they go ahead and click Delete All. Um, I'm actually hovering my mouse. You can see it's actually an orange brown color that has Delete All. So once you click Delete All, it will actually delete every image that this 
um, plugin actually scan and like you can see um, some images are attributed to my um, WordPress and team these are my logos so if I go ahead and click on delete all and if I should go back to my WordPress um, site you see that the sites will be on unorganized because the images will be off the Famicons will be off and some um, images that are attributed to my team might be off so now once you've done this let's do it the right way so how are we going to do this um, there actually is just 11 issues which means that the images um, on these images on this um, WordPress site, they're actually few and they results to 3.46 MB. So we have to like delete all. So now, now the first thing you have to do, like I said, we are doing the right way. Just check the three images you believe that are attributed to your either your team or or e, they are your logo or your favicon. So I've clicked the three. Now you move to this portion that says ignore. I've actually selected three. That's why I said ignore three entries. I don't know, my mouse is actually hovering over the button. So you click on ignore three entries, which means that this um, plugin will actually ignore those images that it detects initially. Uh huh. And you can see one is also here, which is actually my, um, it's actually my head, PMP header logo. So I'll still select it. Remember, I'm doing it the right way. So ignore this one entry also. Don't ever find yourself in the mistake of deleting or believing that the images that the plugin detected are actually unused. Most are being used by your WordPress team. So now um, we have this left and these are the images I know that are unused because they are the ones um, related to the post that I just deleted. So all you have to do is to select all by clicking there, cross check once again to make sure um, you are doing the right thing. So I've selected all. So now all I have to do is delete seven entries. So deleting them. Now they are all gone. As you can see, um, there are zero issue with your files accounting to zero zero MB. So which means that I've thoroughly cleaned my site from on these images. So once you've done that, all you can still do is to still go back to your plugin section because if I believe that there's no need to keep in this um, plugin in your WordPress site because it has actually done the job which you installed it for. So there's no need um, um clustering your plugins or your site with lots of plugins. So I have to find the plugin immediately and I've seen it. All I have to do is deactivate it. It has done the job which I installed it for. So there's no need keeping it in my site. So once you've done that, done deactivating, you can go ahead and delete totally for it to go off. It says, are you sure you want to delete media cleaner? Yes, I'm sure. I have to delete it. So now finish deleting. So now let me still hover off to my site, to the WordPress site to see if everything is intact, just like the way I want it to be. So as you can see, my logo is still there. And yes, my logo is still there. I'm still waiting for the favicon to load. I'm trying to like hover over. Yes, my favicon is still intact, which means, and if you should check, since it didn't detect any images related to my team, I believe all my images attributed to the team are still intact. So you can see the step by step method I've shown you to do that. So if you've still done this and if you have a, a cache plugin, you still can still go ahead and purge all cache. I'm actually using Lightspeed plugin. So I'm actually purging all cache for um, the server to delete whatsoever it has before. I can still navigate um, to my database and clean it. So with that, we've come to the end of this video. You can see how um, easy it is for you to actually delete or use media files um, as in this case, in this video, images from your WordPress media library the right way without it affecting your entire site or your team. So like I said from the start, if you like this video already, you can easily give it a thumbs up. And if you're still yet to subscribe to this video, kindly do that by hitting the subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification for a similar videos just like this, which I'll be releasing in no distant time. So if you've done that, you're welcome to the family. You're already part of the family. And we'll be seeing or meeting in my next video. Come to the end of this video, like I said from the start, Chibuzo Agua is my name and Bloggy Tech is the name of this channel. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.